What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Kevin to turn on this motherfucking YouTube shit. Gang, gang. This is serious. Wow! What the fuck? What's up? It's your boy Kevin to turn on this YouTube shit. Hey man, say man. YouTube is fucking up with my videos, you know what I'm saying? So they had took that video, it blocked it in some countries and shit. So we finna watch another video. Yes, sir. Um, We finna watch Strictly the Cowboys, you know what I'm saying? The other one had everybody in the draft and shit, which I don't give a fuck about anyway, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to watch the Cowboys and shit. And, you know what I'm saying, I guess NFL was tripping and shit. So we finna watch this one right here. We finna see this gonna focus just on the Cowboys. I hope y'all niggas be prepared and ready. Um, hopefully they don't trip with this video. Um, if they do, we gonna post another video. You know what I'm saying? Grind and not stop. Like and subscribe. These videos up, man. I'm trying to pump out this motherfucking work for y'all niggas. And yeah, we gonna keep on going. Let's get it. Let's go. There we go. It is Michael. So it's Michael. Michael. So I'll Parsons. shut up. No, it's cool. But like the idea of Michael, Michael Parsons. Still yes. Like very much so intriguing, dog. Yes. So, so the Cowboys Parsons, um, drafted State, Michael uh, Parsons. Opt out in the 2020 season, and a guy whose stock, you know, dropped some. There were some people that thought he might have been a top 10 player at certain times for them. Physically, he is by far the class of this year's linebacker group, especially for the box guys there. So you I was looking at the niggas when, uh, you know what I'm saying, when we had like did the first video and shit, and that, we had got, um, as well for doing a, being a I saw that we got Michael Parsons, and you know what I'm saying, I really don't know this nigga, you know what I'm saying? the sideline the way you would woo, but like, he's a guy that can still cover a little bit of ground, is fluid enough in the past game to kind of cover up a little gap here and there. What do you guys think? Look, Parsons, I'll be I'll be honest, a little bummed right now. Kind of hoping I read all those mocks that had him falling all the way down to my beloved Raiders. I had just an inkling of hope that that level of athleticism <laughs> would get there. I think nope, not today. The Cowboys got to be that good. The way they was talking about this nigga, this nigga uh, should have been the first pick. Penn State and some high school stuff, but uh, realistically, if you just look at who he is, and I think he addressed that pretty well. I mean, you look at who he is as a player field. This is an example that not everybody views opt outs the same way. Too, like some people thought that uh, that opt outs would be punished, and we're seeing that doesn't seem to be the case across the board. Yeah, the elite talent has not been impacted thus far, right? Panay yeah. Sewell, Jamar Chase, but you're absolutely right. We're gonna like I think that's an interesting day two and day three storyline to see how much guys. So we got what we needed. We got um what we needed. Let's do the cornerback. The football business. Let's do the football you know what I'm saying? The cornerback we wanted, somebody took already. I heard. And get a third round pick. So if we're moving back two slots, pick up pick, they, they add pick 84, and they take the player that if they couldn't find a trade partner, they probably would have taken at pick 10. Now you factor in the fit. John Lee, as we just talked about, retired. Leighton Van Der Esch, a guy who's dealt with some very serious neck issues in his early NFL career. The Cowboys Sheesh. have until May 3rd to decide whether or not. I'm glad on the nigga Van Der Esch, you know what I'm saying? Michael Parsons does well. But we're going to stay Liddy in this bit, you know what I'm saying? He can cover tight ends in the scene. He can run horizontally to take care of running backs in the passing game as well. Maturity, as you mentioned, something that teams have had to vet. Uh, but the guy is an athletic freak. He's got this contagious, infectious personality. He spent some time. So if he's this good, you know what I'm saying? They were trying to say this nigga like Jalen Smith. I ordered an other uh, linebacker. This nigga got injured and shit. Is bad times terrible. That's how bad it was last year. They were absolutely brutal. They were atrocious. So if he's just as good or better, man, it might be. I don't know. Defense, right? They allowed 4.9 eight yards per carry. That was third most in the NFL. Yeah, our defense was ass. 100 rushing yards. Like, and and one of the reasons why that offense was at least when Dak Prescott was under center, was so dynamic is they had to keep throwing because Dallas couldn't stop anyone. And so there's no concerns about the offensive side. So we traded with the Eagles to get um, the third, our third pick, and, I guess. You know, we were talking a couple of picks ago. Like, Dallas has to go defense. Maybe they go Parsons. Imagine they doing trading with the Eagles. Again, as a Washington fan, I hate the pick. But as an objective <laughs> observer of the NFL, it's a great pick and a, a perfect fit for Dallas. You see it on the screen. The Eagles uh, get the first and third uh, third round pick. The Cowboys, I should say, get the Eagles first and third round pick. The Eagles then uh, get that pick to move up. They use that to Devonta Smith. And when you start thinking about Devonta Smith being there for the Eagles, you start thinking about Parsons being there for the Cowboys. I think we're going to see a lot of this over the, the course of the rest of the first round of the draft, too, guys, because this is such an individual draft on how you approach some of these players. Uh, if you're able to move up a couple of spots to get the guy you want or move down a couple of spots to get the guy you want 
spare the Justin Fields trade. I think we're going to see a lot of little moves that we don't usually see. One last thought that I'll share right now, and we're because we're getting close to it, is in speaking to people. All I know is he better be good unless he better be as good as that that cornerback we was about to get, or he better just be good. But in canvassing people who I trust, their opinions, and watching the players myself, it felt like there was kind of a core group of 14 elite prospects in this class. Five quarterbacks. I don't even name those three wide receivers. That nigga was happy, right happy. That, that nigga jumped in Jerry Jones' hand, bro. Penny Sewell and Rashawn Slater, who has not yet heard his name. That's 11. Micah Parsons, the two cornerbacks, J.C. Horn and Patrick Sertan. So we're uh, 11 picks in so far. 12 picks in, excuse me. 12 of those 14 are off the board. And Ashley, I think, has something going on. I am so excited to welcome in the one and only Stephen A. Smith to our NFL Draft Live. Uh, is this Stephen the girl Smith, from um, the other guy, Cal Hurt? Here, my friend. There he is. Okay, Stephen. Stephen A. I am here. How y'all doing? We are wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course, they got uh, Stephen right A. Smith to talk about the Cowboys. He's sick. He's sick. I'm You're sick. sick. <laughs> Tell us <laughs> why. My stomach is hurting right now. I just saw the Dallas Cowboys get the best defensive player in the draft. And Michael Parsons. Oh, this That's is the best exactly defensive player in the draft, the fuck? Take. They were the second worst rushing defense in the National Football League. I was looking yes, for sir. all over them. Another season. Um, I wanted them to do something stupid like grab another offensive player to compound nope. the offensive player nope. they already had. Uh, with Cooper, with Gallup, with, with CeeDee Lamb, no, Stephen with Stephen Elliott, with Dak back in the mix. I thought Jerry Jones was going to go for the sizzle. Then they made a trade with the Eagles. I was laughing. I thought that was something that wasn't going to work. And lo and behold, Michael, Par Michael Parsons was right there. That's exactly who I didn't want them to take. I'm very worried. I'm very worried that the Dallas Cowboys are going to return to relevancy. I'm really, really worried. Listen, you know, uh -oh, we've got a lot of time let's get, to get it. CNA, so I wouldn't worry too much about that right now. Let's try and take your mind off of it. We had a big time trade. The Chicago Bears move up and get Justin Fields falling. This feels like the biggest move of the night so far. What do you think, Stephen A? I like the move. I just don't trust Nagy. I don't trust him. Um, uh, you know, I don't trust the Chicago Bears. Justin Fields is one of the good ass quarterbacks. I've never given up on both Deshaun Watson and Patrick Mahomes to pitch Mitchell Trubisky out of North Carolina. And I think that when you look at Justin Fields, that's why I'm saying to get rid of Mitchell Trubisky. That's tough. Talent. I'm just not sure how long Nagy and uh, uh, Pace are going to be there. Obviously, this pick is all about that. It had better work. Um, otherwise, they will be gone, and I think that Justin Fields got the talent to do it. I also like the fact that he played in the Big Ten, played at Ohio State, you know, similar weather conditions and things of that nature. I don't think that it's going to be that big of an adjustment for him in terms of that. Uh, he's got tremendous talent. I think they made the right pick. Then they got rid of Nick Foles and Mitchell Trubisky. That's tough. Jones, and as much as I hope that he lands with the Patriots, he's a national champion. He's big time. You have to be you have to be a dual threat as far as I'm concerned, for the most part, if you're playing the quarterback position in today's NFL. I think the Chicago Bears made the right pick. I just don't trust Nagy and Pace. But even as you said, he may not be there as long as uh, Justin will. We'll pivot to something that may make you feel a little bit better on the heels of the terrible news from the Cowboys. Uh, Devontae Smith headed to the Of Eagles. course he hate when the Cowboys do good. Of joy for not only Jalen Hurts, but maybe yourself. Yeah, I definitely think you're right. I mean, I was surprised a little bit. I know everybody's talking about Jamar Chase was going to go ahead of him, but I think with the year that Devontae Smith had, I really, really thought that he would get picked before Chase having said all of that. The Eagles desperately needed him. I thought they did the right thing by grabbing him. Um, obviously, we'll see what happens. I mean, him going back and joining his teammate Jalen Hurts, I don't consider Jalen Hurts the greatest pass. I think he's a tremendous athlete with a great, great upside. But in terms of his Jalen ability, Hurts, all right, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's yet they give him a little bit more time. He could do some shit, but the Cowboys in the clamp that, that shit. Help the so I think the Eagles made the right pick. I worry about his durability. We got a linebacker. We got Michael Parson. Hopefully, this nigga can be the next, you know what I'm saying, Ray Lewis or some shit. I think they made the right call. He's doing it for the Slim Cats. Stephen A, like you, you can't hate on that. You know what I mean? Like he's out here doing it for the slim cats out here and making money. Stephen A. Smith, we appreciate you joining us here on the program, Legend. Uh, Enjoy the rest of the draft. I got Stephen A. Look. Okay, okay. This is the second video, my guys. If this video did not work, man, you know what I'm saying? I got um another video I'm gonna do. Um, if this video did not work. If this video did not work, I'm going to check out this other video. You know what I'm saying? So if that video did not work, we finna uh, look at this other video. 
I'm finna upload this video real quick. I'm finna see how how it shoot through and shit. You know, it's it's a, it's a rough night when these when these motherfuckers don't work and stuff. You know, but we gonna pump these motherfuckers up. We ain't gonna stop. We gonna hit. We here for a reason. I season you dig. Hopefully they don't mess with this video and we can just keep on pushing, keep this steady movement out the way. And yeah, hope y'all like and subscribe out this bitch. Deuces. <laughs> Hey, Dad, you know that when we link up, that this shit be legendary. You know this is instrumental, you the engineer on it, so. Kodak everywhere.